Hey, so what's up guys, Matt here with Droid Tech, and you have seen my previous videos. I've actually done a review and unboxing of the Autobox Pursuit. It was that good that I actually had to get one myself. So this time I actually purchased it from the local Autobox Malaysia dealer. I'll be linking this product in the description below, so not to worry, we'll proceed with the unboxing and installation right now. Let's get right into the box itself so on the front you can see pursuit series right in the center auto box logo on the top left designed for samsung on the top right and at the bottom auto box drop certified protection and uh, it's for the samsung galaxy s9 plus the usual stuff and on the back you have ultimate protection for all your pursuit and uh, you can see the features of this case right here which is ultra thin design ultimate drop protection Dust, mud, dirt, snow protection, direct screen access, no screen protector, inbuilt, enhanced audio, and integrated lanyard. You can see from our local distributor, KWS Distribution. You can check them out on their Facebook page. I will also link that in the description. Okay, so let's open this box and see what it contains. I'm expecting the usual auto box presentation. So the case itself, I got mine in the completely opaque black right here which is actually just the black versus the clear because the clear version scratches up very easily actually i used the clear one with my iphone 10 actually that was a review you need given by autobox malaysia but this is actually something i purchased myself so you can see the case right here let me put that to the side inside we also have a lanyard right here no one be using this so i put that to the side and on the bottom let's see what they have here Okay, just this piece of paper here. So we have product warranty. So the terms and conditions in many different languages. And also design for Samsung. You can pause this and read it for yourself if you're interested. But okay, without further ado, let's move on to the case itself. Okay, so this case is pretty different from the previous Autobox Pursuit series which I did for the iPhone 10. Okay, why am I saying this is different is that the previous Autobox Pursuit actually snaps on from the rear. That means you put your phone into the front portion of the case and snap on the rear cover or the rear portion of the case. But unlike this, this actually uses like a small frame at the front, which I will show you slightly later when I install the phone into the case. So this is a slightly different design right here, which I think is because of the Infinity display. So you can see the materials are slightly different. On the Autobox Pursuit for iPhone 10, they actually use foam lining on the insides. This one over here, yes, is still foam lining, but uh, on the sides, actually this top portion where the rim is, that is actually rubber material. It's like a rust, more like a rubber gasket right there to actually protect your phone from all those elements, which is especially dust, which actually damages the phone in the long run. So, let me show you how this is installed. Okay, you actually start off by peeling off the rubber right here. See, just peeling it off. And then while you're peeling it off, you actually pull up the inside of the case, which I'm trying to do right here. This is my first time opening it, so I'm actually not very sure how to do it. So this, you can see the frame right here. Let me give you a close look at the frame okay, you can see there's a rubber gasket around the eight, the corner of the front frame and there's also a speaker port right here as the this case actually redirects the audio to the front let's take a look at the insides of the case you can actually see the port coverings right here on the inside you can see there are like shock bumpers on the inside of the case let me to give you a close-up power button noise cancelling microphone right there the sort of a, like a netting over the noise cancelling microphone to ensure that no dust gets in you can see the foam lining on the inside to protect your phone on accidental drops okay so let's install the phone into the case I would suggest you giving your phone and this case, at least the inside portion of this case, a good wipe down, especially if you're having the clear version. 
as you don't want to keep on taking this case on and off it's not an easy case to take off okay so now let me give my phone a good wipe as well I think that's clean enough okay installing the phone in this case is as simple as just putting the back of your phone into this portion of the case just dropping it in volume side first so that's about it and then snapping on the front portion of the case right here so you have to check make sure the bottom is where the sound outlets are then you put in the bottom first fold the rubber into the groove right here just wrap it round bottom and then to the top just following what the autobox website instructions are so I think that should make the process a lot easier Okay, so that's about it so basically i've got all the edges in you can see from here okay so let's take a look around the case let me open the pot coverings at the bottom usb type c you can see they are pretty generous with the cutouts even though it's deep but it's big enough for your average usb type c cable and also the headphone jack and also you can see there's a hole right here for the lanyard if you do wish to attach that on the right side we will get our power button which is very easy to press hear the click right there and on the left side we actually have the volume rockers which is easy to get to and also our Bixby button on the top we have the noise cancelling microphone and on the rear the same generous camera cutout fingerprint scanner and also for your flash as they had with the Strata series in my previous video so it's I think they are using a standard cutout size as I think it suits the phone pretty well and this is designed with Samsung so I think having this cutout is for a reason so as not to obstruct any of the sensors or the camera or having any flashback issues when using the flash so I think that's a good thing on the bottom we have the Autobox logo right there so pretty much a standard affair Autobox case okay so move on to the reason why I decided to buy this case because I think this case it's much better than the Autobox Defender series as this case actually has rubber inlays which uh, protects the phone from shock whereas in the Defender series your phone is actually resting in a plastic shell and you know plastic is not such a good material for absorbing drops they are relying on the outside rubber sleeve to actually protect and disperse off the shock but actually in my experience it doesn't work that well even though it's more expensive then the Defender. Defender goes around 200 over Ringgit. This case retails for 339 Ringgit. Definitely not a cheap case, but I think for the protection it offers, it's a very good purchase. If you're looking at one case for the lifespan on your phone, this is the case to go for. And plus the benefit that this case actually redirects the sound to the front. Speedgen used to have a case, I think it was the Tough Armor if I'm not mistaken. They used to have the feature for the iPhone 7 Plus, but they don't do it anymore so i think this is the other option especially when you're watching movies or playing games i think this rerouting channel actually provides a more immersive experience as you're not blocking the speaker at the bottom of course yes there is a speaker on the top as the s9 plus has stereo speakers but you don't want to lose the volume of one speaker at the bottom which is actually the more powerful one compared to the one at the earpiece so i think this is a very good feature the feature which actually made me purchase this case in the first place okay, so enough of the talking let's try out wireless charging this time so i have actually purchased the official fast wireless charger from samsung so let me drop my phone on this wireless charging base as you can see at the bottom it charges through wireless charging so you can see fast wireless charging is available so you can see even though there is bulk but it doesn't affect any of the features of the phone so I think this is a very well designed case so guys if you're interested in this case I'll leave the links in the description below I'll be leaving a separate link for our Malaysian viewers out there so that you know where to buy it from 
to ensure that the product is genuine as there are many counterfeit Autobox products these days. Don't forget to follow DroidTech underscore official on Instagram and Facebook at DroidTech Unbox and also subscribe to this channel for more content just like this. I will probably be having a phone review coming up so stay tuned for that. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Take care and peace out.